Celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month, which means highlighting the many contributions this community has given to us. And for generations, Latino families have sent their sons and daughters to serve for our country. 23 ABC's Vanya Patino joining us live from downtown Bakersfield with a breakdown of just how many are currently serving and introduces us to our military veteran staff who say it was their cultural connection to other service members that helped get them through their time serving. Vanya. The number of Hispanic Americans in uniform is growing faster than any other group. The latest data from the Bureau of Public Global Affairs shows that in 2019, 16% of all Army personnel identified as Hispanic or Latino, and just over 15% of all Air Force personnel identified as Latino or Hispanic. But the contributions go far back. According to the National Museum of World War II, around 500,000 Latinos served in World War II. One of those was photojournalist Noe Gonzalez's grandfather. For Noe, his grandfather's decision to enlist in the military made being part of the military part of his family culture. I was anchoring and reporting for a small television station, and uh, but I hadn't served my country, and I thought it was uh, it needed to be done. So he left his job to follow in the footsteps of his grandfather and father, and in 1975 joined the Marine Corps. A lot of uh, the young men that were in my platoon uh, were Latinos, uh, quite a few of them as a matter of fact. He says this familiarity helped grow a bond. All the Marines from the Southwest that were Mexican Americans, uh, we all knew what we ate. <laughs> we all knew our customs. We all knew that mom threw a, a chancla at us. Uh, we, we knew these, these little things. We knew the, the orona. We knew things like that. Uh, uh, we, we all understood what the culture was all about. But for the first time, he also met Latinos that looked and spoke differently. Latinos from Puerto Rico, New Mexico, Chicago, that all had different customs. It was that cultural connection our director of engineering, Jose Garcia, says he experienced when he joined the Marine Corps in 2008. I was 18 years old. Um, I had an uh, uncle that was in the Air Force and a cousin that's in the Army. He spent four years in North Carolina where he was deployed twice and then re-enlisted in 2012. At the time I re-enlisted, I was uh, in Afghanistan, 2012. I re-enlisted um, because I love the Marine Corps, loved everything about it. He says although being away could be hard, he found a piece of home in other Latino service members. Kind of go with what you, what you know, you know, and I met a lot of people from California that were Latino and I kind of gradually towards you know, went towards them because it was something different up there for us, and then we just stuck together. Both say the bonds made there have left them with lifelong friendships, but above all have left them with a pride in being part of the Marine Corps and a pride in having served their country. Live in downtown Bakersfield, Juani Patino, 23ABC, connecting you.